Welcome back. Time now for Trading Places. Joining us from the CME Group is Carl Eggers of LafferFirstberg.com. And at the New York Stock Exchange is Doreen Mogavero of Mogavero and Lee. Good morning, guys. Doreen, morning. ladies first. You? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Doreen, we're on a roll this week. Can we sustain it? I think we are, yeah. I think that this is really any of the negative news I think that I've heard in the last few days, I, I think is not really new news. I mean, I think people have been buying the market regardless. You know, when uh, Mr. Greenspan says, you know, 10% maybe higher, I think we're all figuring that anyway. Those kind of things uh, I don't think are deterring the market at all. And if earnings season starts to uh, play out pretty well, I think you're going to see 10,000 before you know it. Woo! Carl, are people feeling as optimistic down there? <laughs> I know you guys hate when I agree with her, but <laughs> but I do agree with her. <laughs> no, but I think she, she's right. I mean, the wall of worry has been huge, and so what that means is when the wall of worry is huge, that means there's cash on the sidelines. Now it's starting to come back in the market heavily, and that's why you're getting these violent moves up like they are, but it's not about the top line or bottom line. It's been about coming back from the abyss. The, the market's still discounting better economy going forward, which is it's not done yet. At some point, they're going to start to call out the weak stocks that can improve their top line. But right now, it's just about the economy getting stronger and the dollar getting weaker. Wow. All right. Whew. Good, Take good. those two bullish calls to the bank today and see whether or not you two are right. Thank you very much, guys. Great seeing you.